Welcome to the One Minute Apologist. One minute apologist. If you had one minute to be able to unpack for the audience. What about those who've never heard about Jesus Christ? How does intelligent design differ from a theological doctrine of creation? How do you answer that? Well, creation is always about the source of being. Where does everything come from? And uh, one, one way you might, might illustrate that, there's a joke that was making the rounds on the internet some years back where scientists come to God and they say, we can do everything you can do. God says, oh, that's interesting, show me. And then they say, well, we can, uh, we can create humans from scratch. We can take some dust and, and as they're about to continue, God says, well, wait a second, get your own dust. Okay, now that's what creation is. It's giving being to existence. Uh, Carpenters take pre-existing materials, they're designers, and design is about taking pre-existing materials and finding patterns there which point you to intelligence. So uh, another way I illustrate this is if you imagine a pan balance, and you've got a bale that includes one side, and you've got a one pound weight on this side, which is up, how much weight is on this other side? Well, you know, you know it's more than one, it could be two pounds, it could be a five pounds, it could be a million pounds. And that's how it is with intelligent design. We know that there's an intelligence behind the things that we see in nature, and things in biology and cosmology. But getting to an infinite, personal, transcendent, creator God of Christianity is not something the logic of intelligent design can take us to. But it's friendly to Christian theism in a way that uh, atheism, uh, the, the Dar Darwinian evolution, and ev uh, materialistic evolutionary theories are not. So it gives you a lot, it takes you some way, you know, it's closer to the kingdom, but if you want the gospel, you're going to have to go to the gospel. For those of you that want to learn more, this book, The Design Revolution, was very helpful to me, amongst many of his other books.